Today, we're going to talk about the uh, offset. And one of the most important thing when we talk about the hip replacement is to get the leg length and offset right. So we will talk about the what is offset, why it is important to get offset uh, right, what happens if we get uh, too uh, big an offset, what happens if we get too small offset, and uh, what are the uh, different ways of changing offset and uh, also a combination of when you want to change offset, whether you want to change the leg length at the same time or you want to just change the offset, not change the leg length, uh, depending on what your desired goal is. So we'll discuss all this, uh, basically the concept of it. We're not talking about a particular implant, how they change their offset. This is just a a concept to understand in the hip replacement. So when we do a, when we talk about the offset, most of the time uh, the exam examiner expect you to know this offset, uh, and most of the time that is what we mean is in center of rotation uh, of the hip joint, which is normally the uh, center of the femoral head to the axis of the uh, femur, and why this is important is that. Uh, other than maintaining the uh, baseline anatomy, which we have discussed previously, how to uh, maintain the uh, antiversion and inclination of the estabulum, how to maintain the uh, stem in a straight position, not into varus valgus. So those are the anatomical and how to get the center of rotation right. So those are anatomical things. But then next thing, just like a knee replacement, you also need a soft tissue balancing. So for a good hip replacement, you need the baseline anatomy to be maintained and you need the good soft tissue uh, tension. Uh, so you can see in this slide that if the soft tissue uh, tension is too loose, then it will be, uh, the implant will be unstable and you will be having a lot of other problem and we'll discuss that if this offset, so if you see in this slide, uh, Neha, are you there? Good evening, sir. I'm there, sir. Yeah. So can you see these two uh, hip joints? In one, the uh, offset is too small, like this one. And yes. in this one, where offset is uh, longer. So which one do you think will be a good position to keep your implant? So let's say this is A and this is B. Think what would you prefer, A or B? No, sir, none of them. Why? A. So what will you prefer? Let's say your choice of C. What will you like? It should be in between A and B, sir. It is. And why is that? Because here offset is smaller and uh, mm -hmm. in, in B offset is longer. Preferably we have to place in position. In yeah, we don't, we, we don't know whether it's longer or shorter, but from the soft tissue tension, you know that this is too loose, yeah? Yes, sir. And this and, is too And we don't know whether too stretch or uh, not, but yes, you know, paraoperatively you can sometimes feel it's too tight. Uh, but uh, ideally, if you got the other side hip joint, and that's what we will know, how do you get the offset right? So you're right. We don't know whether A is right or too tight unless we know the normal of for that patient. So uh, maybe this is the right, but you, there are a lot of ways, pre-operative, per-operative, and post-operative to know whether it is uh, right or not. We'll discuss that. So yes, you're right. B is definitely not good. A may be good or may not, depending on what your offset you're measuring. Yes? So when we talk about the offset, normally, as I said, normally people understand offset is from the center of the femoral head to the axis of the femur. And in case of uh, total hip replacements, it is the in axis of the implant, at least the distal part of the implant. We take a center position there and from that a straight line up and this distance is the offset. But if you see literature, sometimes there are many offsets has been described. So this offset actually is also called a horizontal offset or a lateral offset, and which is if you just say offset, this is what you mean, this A distance. 
but also there's a vertical offset, which is from center of the head to the lesser trochanter, either top of it or middle point of it. And that is define the vertical offset and that de uh, define your leg length. So horizontal offset and vertical offset. And sometimes in fact, people also, uh, because offset mean uh, it's away from the a set line. So a set line here is a, uh, axis of the femur so this is away how how far away from that set line uh, that is your offset so if you see a femur uh, anatomy it is all the if you see this is the femur with the transcondylar axis the posterior of the transcondylar axis there is an antiversion of the neck so the neck is not horizontal to this line the neck is about 15 20 degrees so if you draw that line here parallel to this. This is about 15, 20 degree offset uh, in anterior. So sometimes this anti-version is called anterior offset. So these are the three offset normally we describe. So vertical offset is from center of the femoral head to the uh, tip of the trochanter. The anterior offset, if anybody not commonly used, but sometimes used is the anti-version, which is a measure of the angle from the trust uh, posterior aspect of the and transcondylar uh, axis of the femur, uh, which measure the antiversion. And the, if you just say offset, that is horizontal offset from the center of the femoral head to the canal of the femoral canal. And we will not talk about the other offset today. We'll just talk about that horizontal or lateral offset because that's what the uh, top, top topic is. And even in that, there are three terms we normally use is the uh, femoral offset, Estabular offset and global offset. So these are all part of the your lateral or horizontal offsets. So let's define what are these offsets, uh, different offsets. So normally when we set offset, I told you we we talk about femoral offset. We're talking about this offset, but there's an offset or estabular offset which is uh, now coming more in. Uh, in, in common uses, which is if you, from a teardrop, if you drop a vertical line, uh, just from the teardrop, uh, and then see the center of the femoral head, that distance, the medial distance, is called a stabular offset. And if you do a sum total of this, this has become a global offset. Okay, so these are the definition of different ops offsets. So anybody of you want to just say what are the different offsets uh, <laughs> described in the hip joints. Just uh, name them. Sarvan Kumar, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Sarvan Kumar. So, what are the offset uh, you know of? Sir, there is a femoral offset or the yes. horizontal offset which yes. is from the center of the femoral head to the axis of the femoral stem. Yeah. Then, uh, then next one is the vertical offset, uh, which is from the center of the femoral head to the uh, lesser trochanter uh, mm -hmm. tip. Yeah. Th th this is the vertical offset. Mm -hmm. So then next offset is the uh, horizontal offset, also called femoral offset, or lateral offset. Mm -hmm. Then uh, ne the next one is the acetabular offset, uh, which is from the distance, vertical distance from the center of the femoral head to the uh, tear drop. Excellent. So these are the offset, and sometimes there is also called an anterior offset, which is what is anterior offset? The anterior offset is the antiversion of the uh, femoral neck. The Some. angle between the uh, posterior condylar of the femur and the axis of the neck. neck yeah. So these, these are different offset. But when we talk about, we normally talk about this is the offset we normally mean. Yeah. And also sometimes this estabular or sometimes people measure it from the pubic symphysis. So it doesn't need to be exactly from teardrop, but that's... I think most of the author will measure from teardrop, but sometimes any uh, fixed reference point you can take on the pelvis and you can measure that there. So the standard is from teardrop uh, to vertical that. So that, these are the different definition of the different type of offset. So everybody understood these terms? Yeah. 
So let's uh, move on. So 